Assalamu alaikum dear sisters welcome back to the channel I'm Fatima G if you're new here you are so welcome so I am on a journey of decluttering my life and alhamdulillah last month I successfully um, decluttered my home to the best of my ability initially I wanted to get rid of just 100 items and I went crazy I got rid of over 200 items alhamdulillah because I'm somebody who over the years I've kept things you know so alhamdulillah i got rid of a lot of things last month so this month i've been wanting to you know declutter my car but it was just taking i don't know it was just taking me a bit longer to do because i'm not gonna lie to you guys one thing that i don't like to do is go to the car wash i don't do it i never really used to do it you know um my children's dad always used to go get the car wash and all of that so now that i have to do it i've never done it you know so the only time that i would usually clean my car is like when it's eid and things like that and the honest truth is subhanallah i haven't cleaned the car for a year i cleaned it myself a couple of months ago which was good which is all right i did quite a good job alhamdulillah but i just don't enjoy doing it you know so i neglected the car for a whole year and now it's in a state it's been in a state subhanallah so that's the declutter for this month currently as i speak to you guys i'm taking the car to the car wash because it's in such a bad state i have saved up some money to get it deep cleaned and inshallah from there on i aim to maintain it and you guys are going to be my accountability partner so every three months i'll check in with you guys i'm like yeah i've been on top of my car i've been on top of my decluttering journey and all of that because i don't want to just do this this declutter and then stop it's just it's something that i want to continue doing every every month or something i want to get rid of things that i don't use anymore things that don't serve me anymore you know so this decluttered journey i don't want it to just end here i want it to be something that i continue doing for the rest of my life inshallah you know coming from a background where we kept everything everything meant so much to us i remember when i was growing up we didn't get rid of things it was always oh we're gonna use it again we're gonna use it again because we didn't even have a lot of things anyway but you know having that mentality as a child and then it came with me as an adult now you know so now i just want to just get rid of things and i want to pass that on to my children as well like if you're not using it no more get rid of it you know allah will always provide something much better so yes the car has been in a state i'm taking it now to go and wash um alhamdulillah i don't give lift to people anyway alhamdulillah a lot of sisters you know um drive now a lot of sisters that i'm around drive so alhamdulillah so no one has ever actually been in my car in a state apart from my sister but whenever my sister's coming around i usually just you know move the things from my car and things like that so the car to be honest with you i got the car for the children it's not for me when you have kids especially when you have multiple children traveling in london is really difficult like alhamdulillah like london has like great transportation but i don't like taking public transport you know once in a while no problem but not all the time so i got the car for the children so you can just imagine the mentality that i had like okay it's just for the kids to go from point a to point b and because we're homeschoolers as well it's just much easier to go to our activities and things like that so my intention is to drive the car not to keep the car clean you know like i don't care about cars like that yeah i like cars you know like you know, sports cars and stuff like that but i'm not a big fan of cars kind of thing you know subhanallah so the car it was like a storage as well i just store everything here the kids jacket the kids toys everything but now I'm gonna spend a lot of money deep clean costs quite a bit it costs quite a lot of money subhanallah so i pay that i'm gonna maintain it the thing is right because i don't like going to the car wash i actually have my own car wash things at home i remember i've collected them over the years i bought them from like Lidl and other places whereby my intention was okay every two weeks i'll clean the car myself but that's never happened i've only done it once since i purchased all of these car wash things you know um now i'm gonna i'm gonna maintain it like, like i said you guys are my accountability partners so um i'm gonna make sure that when i give you guys an update it's gonna be a positive one inshallah so i'm gonna leave the car for a couple of hours and i'm gonna have to pick it up later i just want to be a declut like i just want to be a clutter free person i just want to be someone who actually enjoys cleaning I don't know how to develop that mentality i feel like it's just something that comes naturally for some people like i know sisters who like cooking and cleaning but that's to be no don't like, okay i know a sister there's just one sister who i know that actually enjoy the cooking and cleaning together but most sisters that i know 
are just really good at one or like one either they really really good at cleaning and they absolutely love it and they just despise cooking and then other sisters really really like cooking and then they despise cleaning and i fall into the group of sisters who like cooking and don't enjoy cleaning i will cook the whole day i absolutely enjoy cooking yeah but when it comes to cleaning i really struggle i just don't want to do it i pray to allah that i have soon soon i'm gonna get a cleaner be ibn ta'ala that's something that you clean obviously but i want to do things that i actually enjoy if i don't enjoy it, i don't want to do it i don't enjoy cleaning but but once i get into the cleaning though that's a different kind of feeling i don't like to start cleaning but once i start it's amazing you know alhamdulillah so i'm nearly there you know um going to the car wash in brixton this is the second time I'm coming here. I usually go to like a car wash in Oaken Road because that car wash was close to my grandparents' house, you know. But I can't go to Oaken Road. Oaken Road is much, much far further from me than Brixton is. So I'm just gonna leave the car and then I have to take a bus back home because the car I was told that's gonna be um in the car wash for a couple of hours because i'm getting a deep clean i just can't wait to see how it is when it's all cleaned and stuff the thing is as well like the children they eat in the car which is okay i think because sometimes as a busy mom you're rushing to go to an activity and um you're late i'll just give the kids their lunch or breakfast in the car you know but but after i get it clean i'm sorry no more eating in the car no more eating in the car i'm sorry you know they can drink but no more eating in the car. I'm gonna, you know, organize the car a little bit more better. I've got some like organizing things, you know, to organize the kids' activities. Cause we're literally always in the car. You know, we're going, we're always going to places, you know, and things like that, going to activities and stuff. So I wanna organize the car, make sure everything that we that we need stay in the car. And if we don't need it, it won't stay in the car. I, I want like brand new. I mean, yeah. I just have to maintain this now. So yeah, I'm just picking up the car. They even put this stuff in a bag for me. What, did they clean in here as well? They did. Oh Lord, alhamdulillah. They shined it with something. I need to find out what that shining thing was so that I can get that and start using it myself. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Let's see. Oh wow. Yes, it looks perfect. Thank you. I like it, yeah. To be honest, <laughs> the car even feels different to drive. Oh, I feel like crying. I feel like crying because I can't maintain a car I just can't and I know I'm not the only one I'm not there are women who struggle to keep the car clean especially with kids and stuff um, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and I don't want to make a promise to myself because I know myself I know myself maintaining the car is not my number one priority it's not but the car looks like brand new I need to find out what shiny thing they used. If I had asked them, they won't tell me because they know I'm going to figure it out and I won't come back to them. Allahu Akbar, I love it so much. I really, 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 really love it. I need to maintain it. You know, I really, really like it. It looks like brand new. You guys, I like, like I said, I have everything. <coughs> I even have like a leather seat cleaner, but I've never used it. And when I was choosing to buy a car, I purposely chose a car with leather seat because I thought to myself, oh, it'd be easy to clean. You know, it'd be very, very easy to clean. But nope, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I struggle to clean it. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to clean the kid's car seat. I'm gonna take the, cause it's removable, you know, like the fabric the material what do you want to call it the cover that's it freshy can't even think but yeah the cover i'm gonna take it off inshallah and 
wash it and then the car seat itself I'm just gonna wipe it down and then once the cover dries I'm going to put it back on and the kids when they see this they're gonna be really really happy they will I know and then even they're not gonna want to get it dirty but it's gonna be so hard to not feed them in the car because you know after we finish our activities right coming in the car is the perfect time to have your snacks and things like that they get their crisps you know they get their you know um rice akara i think it's nice even even when i'm driving subhanallah yeah i like to just nibble on something so to not eat in the car because that rule is not just for the kids it's also for myself it's gonna be quite hard it's gonna be really really hard oh let me put this i don't want to put this back on because it's broken but i'm gonna diy it you know the the grip thing here it came off however i've been doing my i don't know how to say it i just feel so excited right now but anyways i've been putting some things here to hold the phone but what i'm going to do to diy it i'm going to put hot glue hot glue around it and you know when hot glue dries up obviously it's like it's kind of like the same texture to what was previously there so inshallah that will work so that's why my phone is there now i hope it's good enough yay challenge completed i cleaned my car you guys saw the before the before was embarrassing i didn't mind showing you guys i didn't mind because that's my reality and one thing i don't like about the internet is the fact that all we see is perfection and i'm not perfect okay i'm not perfect and i'm not going to show perfection i am happy to show some of my struggles some of my flaws and things like that things i'm struggling with just so that the ordinary people who sit down and watch youtube videos know that oh there are people like me there's somebody like that's similar to me trust me we all know there's no perfection and we all we all know no one is perfect however for some bizarre reason we enjoy seeing these perfect youtube videos these perfect inverted comma women who have their life together and everything listen that's not me i am currently struggling with certain things and if i'm okay with you know documenting it and sharing it with you guys i will absolutely do that and the great thing about it is that i'm actually trying to do something about improving my life and improving things i'm not just letting it be i'm just being comfortable you understand so someone out there who is going through something similar can inshallah be inspired by what i'm doing yeah so sister if your car is upside down because of the kids it's okay it happens but get it cleaned get it cleaned and try to see if you can maintain it after that inshallah even if you go to the car wash once a month i think that's okay even though i'm not going to be going to the car wash once a month because obviously i'm going to clean it myself that's the goal learn how to clean the car myself i can quick backstory got the backstory all the time me and my sisters we used to clean my dad's car when we were younger my dad never went to the car wash we never went to the car wash with my dad i never saw my dad in a car wash ever we used to clean that car my dear sisters we used to uh, and we lived upstairs yeah so we used to literally carry buckets of water from upstairs to downstairs just to wash my dad's car and he was always happy with it anyway even though obviously we never did the you know the same job as a car wash would but he was always happy with it he never complained he never actually complained he never <laughs> you know so i kind of sort of know how to i have experience cleaning cars maybe that's why <laughs> you see i love this i love it maybe that's why i don't clean cars because we hated cleaning my dad's car we hated it <laughs> sorry my older sisters i'm exposing you but i think my dad kind of knew because every time he would tell us to go clean his car our face would just twist up literally but there was nothing we can do all we could do is twist up face that's it you know but yeah we didn't like cleaning his car so maybe that's why i don't like cleaning car now hello alan but either way i had no excuse i'm here now i need to maintain this pearly pearly is the name of my beautiful car i love her we love her man she's sweet she takes us to from point a to point b from point you know 
from point A to Z and then Z back to A. We just love it. Allah Mubarak. May Allah bless it for us. I mean for my I mean. Clean your car, sisters. Okay. If you're struggling, it's okay. It's alright. You've seen the before and after of my car. So Alhamdulillah, it can be done. You can fix it. You can wash your car. You can do all of that. But anyways, beautiful sisters, thank you for joining me in this second episode of Decluttering with Fatima G. Yeah, watching me declutter my life and I'm going to continue it, inshallah, because this doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop here. It continues, inshallah. Inshallah, I'll share with you guys the next thing that I'm decluttering and getting better at, inshallah ta'ala. So stay tuned for my next video. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't liked this video, if this video, you know, resonated with you in any way, like, you know what? I need to clean my car. Press the like button. Alhamdulillah, when I got home, I washed the children's car seats and the car was looking absolutely amazing. And I was so happy with the result. I got some organized things from TikTok shop. And the reason why I purchased them, because I wanted to organize the children's things in the car a lot better, like their crayons, snacks, etc. Because we're always in the car. So I try to keep them entertained whilst we're traveling and stuff. I'm so happy with the results. I plan to keep up with the car in terms of cleaning it and everything i've got my cleaning products and everything like that i just hope i can stick to that inshallah it's a journey and i'm looking forward to this journey thanks for watching sisters i'll see you guys in my next video assalamualaikum